for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip up the man. She's as always got a new offense from a new playbook for you guys today. This is a playbook that I've had a lot of requests for. It's considered one of the more uh, trendier playbooks in Madden 22. It's the Kansas City Chiefs offense. I haven't done a full ebook on it yet or nothing like that, but I'm thinking about possibly doing it because I know there's a lot of really great formations in it. So let me know in the comments section what playbook you guys would like to see me do next. I found an amazing offense in this playbook, which is making me think that maybe I should do some more Chiefs, but I always leave it up to you guys as always the offense itself is the pistol wing flex close this formation is only found in the kansas city chiefs it's not in any other playbook in madden 22 and it's one of the glitchiest formations in the game today's video i'm going to focus on the run plays you can see by some of the averages although i don't think that madden 22 or next gen tracks the amount of times that you run a play accurately because i've definitely run these plays more than it says but this play here says i average 16 and a half this play here i average eight and i know i've run that more than 14 times i've probably run that like 100 times i love that play this play here averaged 12.4 and this play here averaged 10.2 so you can see some of the explosive averages that you can get from these running plays and that doesn't even include some of the explosive passing plays like the pa flood which is probably my favorite you can see i average a whopping 36 yards of play so i'm going to put these in my audibles like i always do the rpo alert wide receiver screens a glitchy play to an extent um, i would say it's very similar to the halfback zone week though as far as how i'm going to use it but they're both very good plays on their own then the jet pass fake zone technically a passing play but it's a really good uh, version of like an end around. I'm gonna show you the best times to use that. You also got the fake. Uh, obviously they play off each other really well, but ultimately my favorite play and the one I'm gonna start this video out with is going to be the speed option. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys wanna get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's always the cheapest coins on the market. Now, when it comes to running this offense, it's helpful to have a mobile quarterback, but you do not need a mobile quarterback. I run this with Patrick Mahomes. I think he's like a seven three speed quarterback in mutt right now so you know clearly you don't need that i run with the ravens a lot in these practice modes because i think that they i just like using their offense to be honest with you but you do not need a mobile quarterback that's not important at all because it's really all about the pitch now you can see i can flip this play with the right stick it's real simple when it comes to the reach for this play if it's a man coverage you want to run it as is if it's a zone coverage you want to flip it and run it the opposite way and the reason for that's pretty simple you got two receivers to one cornerback makes it a real easy read so all i'm going to do is when i run this pitch it out with the lb button and you can see the second that ball gets out there's nothing out here i mean what i get 10 15 yards like nothing so we're gonna go to the replay here i just want to show you guys some of the finer details when it comes to running option plays number one the pitch animations you get you typically get them even through contact so you can see I hold that ball to the very last second to the point where I'm essentially getting tackled. And the reason for that is very simple because if I throw it too early, this guy is going to change his direction and go after the running back. So I'm going to hold it as long as possible. I'm going to treat myself like a blocker. I want to occupy this guy. And I promise you, you will get that pitch animation. Like I said, every single time I'll be getting tackled when I hit that LB button and I'll get that pitch animation out. Then once you get that pitch animation out, look where he is when he catches the ball. There's nothing but space out here. He's 10 yards from the nearest guy. Now here, it looks like we probably have a man coverage because you can see you got kind of a man alignment, two cornerbacks over two receivers. I can easily run this the opposite way. Once again, that pitch is going to, I mean, it definitely confused Tyron Matthew as to where the ball's going. As you can see, I mean, there, I definitely didn't have the same type of clearance but it didn't matter. As you can see right here, I mean, he comes the second I see him coming for the quarterback, I get that pitch out, it's game over. He's outside, all I have to do is basically hit the guns and out sprint the defenders. Now you also have the option to motion across a tight end. Say you want to seal that edge a little bit better, you can motion this guy across here and basically seal that edge. But you can see now it also really exposes this man coverage defense. So that's something to keep in mind. If somebody's in a heavy man coverage defense, and you want to make that motion, you're basically just going to bring across that extra defender. And now you're in a position to basically get it outside wide again. So there's really, you know, that's the type of chess match you're playing. There, that defender didn't react very well at all, but you can see the pitch still is the play. I mean, the pitch every single time is going to make a very explosive play. We'll go ahead and we'll hopefully we get a zone coverage so we can seal that edge with this tight end and have even more success. Right here, like I said, now we have an even bigger blocking advantage based off the fact that we have that zone coverage. And you can see that pitch, I'm always going to get that pitch out. I don't care how bad Lamar's getting blasted, that pitch is going to get out. The second best play is probably going to be the zone week. 
Now this play here doesn't necessarily go straight for that lane, but you can see anytime there's like a gap between the defensive end and defensive tackle, this is the perfect opportunity to run this play. You can still do that motion. I still feel like that motion is going to be helpful. It'll help seal this defensive end. It'll give you an extra blocker, uh, but ultimately it's not even, you know, you don't have to use that. As you can see right here, I mean, we basically are just getting easy path up the middle. This is one of the most consistent runs in this formation for sure. As far as deciding whether to run this pitch play, which to me is the number one play in this formation, or the zone weak, which is to me like 1A and 1B, you basically just want to look for a gap here. If you have a gap between defensive end and defensive tackle, that's one indicator, but also if the defense is spread wide, you're going to want to go with this play. If they're pinched in tight, you're going to want to try to beat them outside with the pitch. But if they're spread wide like they kind of are here, this is a perfect opportunity to just try to take it inside. As you can see, there's nothing really in here. I mean, this is just, you're going to see a lot of defense like this. I'm running against four threes, but you're going to see this a lot more in nickel packages, which is way more common. Here, once again, they're pinched tight. You know, there's no lanes. Real, real easy read. He's going to pitch this out. Like I said, take that contact, get hit, and get that ball out. You can see Tyron Matthew, superstar Tyron Matthew is the only thing that saved a touchdown there. But I mean, that's like stealing. I mean, that's super easy, especially against people that are man blitzing crazy like that. Now, when it comes to wanting to run the uh, the jet pass fake zone, I would say cover three and man coverage are the best plays. Typically, you run. the only time I run this play is when I come out and there's no cornerback outside of the uh, the tight ends. I'm very selective when it comes to running this play. But ultimately, cover three is a good look. This looks like a cover three. That cornerback will drop back immediately, giving me an opportunity to turn up the field, as you can see right there. I still get close to 15 yards before Tyron Matthew saves the day once again. This is the type of look that I'm talking about right here, where there's no cornerback out here. This is kind of like no man's land. Anytime I see this in a gameplay or whatever game mode I'm playing, I will immediately go to this. If there's no cornerback out here, this is the best look because I'm going to get it to my 97 speed guy on a full sprint to the edge, basically just try to run around these tacklers and get as much as I can. That's why I averaged the most, I think, on this particular play. Once again, got that look one more time without even thinking. Anytime I see that no cornerback look, we're going right back to this and we're just going to basically sprint the second we get the ball and try to get wide. And like I said, you can get some explosive, explosive plays just as long as you follow that principle. Looks like we're getting a whole a whole bunch of them right now. So we're going to do it one more time. Like I said, maybe we can score. It looks like we have a safety blitz in the opposite direction, which is perfect. And then, like I said, I mean, Brown here is the perfect candidate to run these plays. Let's go and let's put these plays uh, in our audibles, as always, which I've already done. The PA Flood is going to be a home run against just about every single defense other than cover four. Uh, and then that's where the booty wide sale is going to come in. Then you also have the spacing, which has got a bunch of good man beaters and the wide receiver under. These two plays I'm going to save uh, for my ebooks and for my uh, Patreon community and my join out community tab and stuff like that. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into it. We're going to start off with the PA Flood. And on the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover two like we always do. Now, when it comes to cover two, um, we, you know, pretty much every play is going to be the receivers over here. It's going to be either Brown or DeVernay on just about every uh, defense that we go against. I'm pretty much going to make the same adjustments every time too, which is I'm going to put the B route here on a streak. But all we're going to do against cover two, motion this guy out. I'm going to put the A route on the streak just to give myself an extra option, although you really don't have to do that. But against cover two, neither one of these routes really gets covered. The B route is going to be wide open right over the middle. As you can see, the, the safety basically has to split his attention between the two receivers as we get a 50-yard bomb. And the B route's going to be open too. So you really have your option. Like I said, it's a super quick play too. I mean, I don't really have to hold the ball too long. I like to cancel my play action, but ultimately you can see Brown's going to be open out here too, although there we got caught. Pressure got in my face a little bit. I threw a little bit early. But you're going to see how both of these routes, especially if you run it from a hash mark like I'm doing, both of these routes are going to be open against cover two for an easy one play touchdown. So let's go let's do that one more time. Like I said, that RB route there is really what makes this guy get open over the middle. I'll go to the replay. Let's go and let's go watch this guy right here. He's the mid read. He drops back on it pretty nice. Does a pretty good job of undercutting it. And then you can see immediately his attention is turned to that underneath route. So you're watching this guy. If it's a user, obviously you're watching the user, but you can see the second he slows down for the underneath route, that's when the balls leave my hand. I just wait for his head to turn. And I know that he's not, I mean, number one, he's behind anyway. But number two, just bullet pass lead away from the, uh, the safety on the left and you're good. The cornerbacks, when it comes to cover two, do a much better job of following back these routes, but that's not gonna matter because ultimately I'm gonna have success with this outside route too, as this guy's not gonna hang with him. He's gonna eventually turn his attention, and I might not get a one-play touchdown there, but you can see I still get a very explosive play. So the, the X route, or the B route rather, is where 
the uh, the user probably has a better chance of being, but they'll probably cover the short stuff anyway. So you really have the B route, which is probably the most explosive against covered, or most explosive play against cover too, and then the X route here, which hopefully we get past him this time. There, boom, we get that one play touchdown outside against him as well. As you can see, both of these plays score against what really is the meta defense in my opinion right now, which is cover two zone. Now this play has nothing for cover four quarters, so we're gonna skip that until we get to the next play. But we do have a really good series when it comes to man coverage. So let's go and let's start off with uh, man zero blitz. Now this play against man, you really don't have to make any adjustments. The B route is a really good check down, by the way. I mean, that's going to beat it just about every single time. So you have that against any man coverage. But we want the one play touchdown. So the X route here is pretty much going to be the play. You're going to see he just, you know, if you have a fast enough receiver, he's just going to run past any cornerback. And it's a very easy drop in the bucket. You basically float it up with the X button. Easy one play touchdown against man coverage. I find that this play is even better against a coverage like man cover two, though. This is going to be another scenario where you just put the B route on a streak and motion this guy out. But watch what it does to the cornerback. The cornerback typically comes down in a press look. And this route goes completely around it. So I'm going to cancel that play action, get that ball out right away, and boom, we got a one-play touchdown against cover two man, just as long as nobody catches me. So you can see how glitchy this route is against things like this. Cover two man is typically like a press alignment. That's why when you motion this guy out, he comes down into the point where he's going to press. And then he just gets beat because he can't get his hands on this route. So the second he gets beat around like that, I'm pretty much throwing the ball right away. I mean, that's, that's really all I'm reading here. Here, is does he beat that press which he will pretty much every single time and then it's just about speed at that point so he's already passed them so all I have to do is just basically bullet and pass lead away from the safety which typically is reacting to the streaking uh, receiver in the middle anyway so a really good cover two play like I said once you make this motion you see that cornerback drop if the cornerback doesn't drop it won't work if he plays you know the, the defender plays it back or something like that it's gonna be a little bit of a different story but you can see at the very least we have a very explosive play against cover two man the B route can have success as well if you have a fast enough receiver and you have a good enough matchup. As you can see right here, he's just going to basically beat him inside and then we have the same look where he can basically beat right over the middle. But Sammy Watkins is not necessarily as fast as, as Hollywood Brown. But you can see how both of these receivers are getting open against most defenses. So that play beats every man or zone. It just doesn't beat cover four quarters. So let's go ahead and let's pick the PA booty booty wide sale one time so we can show a cover four quarters one play touchdown and then we'll go and we'll pick that on defense this play does a lot more than that but we're just going to basically run it as is and you're going to see how this b route here uh just basically does all the work for you no adjustments once again a no adjustments cover four one play touchdown from anywhere on the field now you can dress this up and make it even easier if you put the x route on a streak and then put the rb route on a comeback it makes it even better because the uh, the safety gets really confused on who his assignment is, and then you can see he's he's open by even more. So you know there's ways to dress this up, but it's a it's a no adjustments one play touchdown. So for people that aren't very good with adjustments, that's probably the easiest way to go. Now, there's a lot of different things that the booty wise sale can do, but we we're focusing on one play touchdowns today. So in the full breakdown video, I'll probably have uh, more information on, on the things you can do. But for now, let's go and let's show the last defense that we haven't had a one play touchdown against, and that's the cover four drop. So we'll pick the booty wise sale one more time and then the cover four drop contain. So I would say just block your tight ends, put the X route on a drag. That's all you really have to do. And that will be your check down, the X route. But the B route here, as you can see, will have a lot of success getting across uh, the cover four uh, as you get between the cornerback and the, and the free safety. That's probably one of the tighter throwing windows uh, out of all these plays. So let's do that one more time. Let's see if we get a little bit more separation and a little bit better timing on the throw. Because like I said, that's really... I think I threw the ball a little bit too early there. As you can see right there, that's much better uh, timing on the throw. You basically want to throw it when he's uh, parallel with the safety. Like I said, we'll go ahead and we'll watch. The safety is dropping straight back. He's just trying not to get beat deep. So the best time to throw it is when he's parallel right here because he's sprinting straight back where my guy's sprinting straight across, which is what's going to give him separation. So you can see this time I held the ball a little bit better, or at least I timed it a little bit better to throw it once he's parallel with that safety and that's going to be how you get that one play touchdown now against random defenses there's a lot of different things you can do we're just going to go over and pick a random nickel basically the rb route i mean you can have a lot of success by putting the rb route on either i mean you have to have a fast tight end but if you put the rb route on an out route or a streak a lot of times the a route will get open against a lot of different things i mean this looks like a man coverage uh, which you can see the a route is getting out over the top of it and we get a very big play like i said the faster the tight end the better if we get a cover two this will have success against that right here once again like i said i'm not sure what the defense is here uh, this cornerback 
almost seems like he's reacting to the deep crosser. I don't even know what defense that was, but you can see a lot of times this uh, this A route here is getting open over the top of the cornerback, which it really shouldn't. Now here's that, that might be a man coverage, might be a cover too, but you can see, you can really attack the field with explosive plays on both sides simply because of the crossing receivers. Against uh, man, the RB route and an out RB better, but against zone, just putting him on a flat is probably the better way to go. And then you can see we could also just take that right off the line. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this play. Um, if you, especially, I mean, he's a blocking tight end, so it's not like he's going to have a ton of success with the catch and run. But if you have somebody with a little bit of speed out there, here we got that, that cover two, which is what I was talking about. The flat route pulls that cornerback down a lot better than the, than the out route. So, you know, there's just a lot of things you can do here. Here we're going to have that man coverage. I'm pretty sure that my man, uh, Andrews, is going to have a lot of success. Even though he's going against the safety, I mean, you know, it's just an explosive play. If you have a good tight end, you can create a lot of explosive plays on the other side. As I'm really, you know, I really don't even know what defense this is. Like I said, against man coverage, which is what this looks like, definitely want to want to put my RB route on a, um, on a out route. And against zone coverage, it's probably best to put him on a flat. But here, I mean, I'm going to use this, um, you know, we have uh, this guy here, DeVernay, he's just, I don't even know who's covering him, but obviously that crosser is a very good man beater. Now, it's a really good man beating play, which is the spacing. We're going to pick that. This play here, once again, you have a, a couple of good options on the left side. I'm going to block my right. I put the A route on a drag, and you can block the RB route, or put the RB route on a drag and block the A route. It doesn't matter. Whoever your better um, receiver is, you want to drag. But you can see you have multiple routes here. That are going to be successful against man. The outlets can be successful against man. The the zig route, which is essentially going in the opposite direction, is going to be successful against man. Um, I don't even really need him. Mean, I can just block the running back. The RB route, I guess, is a decent option. But like I said, this guy here, he's going to confuse a lot of people as he comes back over the middle. A little bit of a dangerous throw. I mean, he could get popped by a, a cover one uh, lurking safety. But ultimately, I mean, you have your drag, uh, which is a really good check down. Uh, and then you have your, uh, which, you know, there I didn't get to throw off. I mean, I'm running it kind of fast. I didn't even block my running back. But you can see there's a lot of really good options here when it comes to man coverage. So we'll go do that again. Like I said, anytime I have outside release, I'm going to have that deeper route easily. That looked like a cover two man. Um, but, you know, all these routes, all three of your routes, the two receivers and the drag, which are really the only two that I care about, are all going to have success against man coverage. So if you have somebody running a lot of man coverage, you really have a lot of easy plays to basically dink and dunk them to death, and they're never going to be able to diagnose where you're throwing the ball. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more from this formation, an entire breakdown of this offense, which, like I said, I recommend it, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content Content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.